How we doing guys? Sam here with our good friend LJ with GI Jigs. Hey, it's nice to see you again. Thanks for having me. Fishing's getting good this time of the year. I know you've been it out is. there a lot more than I have at yeah, least. It really um, is. So we're starting to do that fall transition. We're doing some different things yeah. this time of the year. Uh, a lot right. of different fish to catch, right? So yes, there is. I mean, like right now the, the bay, out of Chesapeake Beach anyway, we're kind of going through a transition where the rockfish haven't pushed down from the north yet. Okay. And we still have a lot of perch spot we're, we're catching small flounder, small black sea bass, and we have breakers. Uh, I still hear there's a few mackerel and bluefish around. Yeah, so a couple of pop um, the Yeah, oh yeah, right on. So the, I change up my, uh, I change up my gear. Uh, just dropped off the anglers, three sixteenth ounce GI jigs, the jig heads all the way up to half ounce. They got a great inventory of them right now. Also, they got, uh, I got several dozen rain minnows in the shop right now. Uh, to them, so they're they're getting ready to skew these things all up and put them on the pegs. So uh, great colors um, that that catch fish this time of year right in this area. Well, let's um, start out with these. I know you do okay. a lot with these. Yeah, I love fishing the rain minnow this time of year, and and so what I do is I like to put a dropper fly on my leader. So I'll I'll take my leader before I tie it to my my rain minnow, and I'll put that loop knot in the middle, and then snip one end of the loop so it, I got one straight line okay. and then I'll what I'll do is on my dropper fly anglers has these really nice flies in here um, they have all uh, different varieties um, these all work and add one of these dropper flies uh, to your leader with your rain minnow okay and and so since I'm targeting small fish mm -hmm. I'm trying to catch white perch flounder black sea bass um, spot hit these things um it's a really versatile you know the rig itself i think you can catch just about anything in the bay with that rig. absolutely but a little i'll give you a tip okay okay mm -hmm. i take squid and i cut small pieces mm -hmm. and i'll put a small piece i'll just tip the rain minnow and i'll tip the dropper fly with a small piece of squid yeah they can't they, it's no. it's lights out at that point it's you'll catch doubles it's so yeah. much fun i'm taking my kids out this saturday we're gonna go be we're doing that they love it and, mm -hmm. and travis you know he's got a charter business yeah, going absolutely. you can you can catch a trip on my website gijigs.com and he took a party out they wanted to go bottom fishing it was a family and they fished in the patuxent river they caught 12 species of fish oh, wow. from it juvenile black drum yeah. to robin fish to lizard fish to That's nice awesome. size uh, spot. Uh, I mean, oh, he I said he, he was catching 10 inch spot. That's good around That's here. A big spot. <laughs> and I love to eat spot. They're delicious. I just love to get them. So since we do have some breakers, Sammy. Yes. Okay. We do have breakers in the area. We do have the blue, some blue fish and mackerel. Um, I like to take the lightweights, the, the three eights, the quarter ounce, three sixteenths, and put these, uh, tiny streak Z's on here. Uh, they're three and three quarter inch. Um, and, uh, and throw those to outside the breakers. So you don't mm -hmm. want to throw them in the middle. You're going to catch your bigger fish on the outside because the bigger fish don't like to compete with them little critters. Yeah, and they're waiting for the, the, the scraps to be mm -hmm. floating back anyway, and they take an easy lunch. Absolutely. So that's how you want to approach those. And then another thing, since we have all these varieties yeah. of different weights, we're in the creeks and things. Don't forget to get your small paddle tails in the three and a four inch and put them on your three sixteenths, quarter ounce, uh, quarter ounce and three sixteenths are my favorites. Yeah. But we've got them all the way up to half ounce, however you want to do it. And even these work very well, you know, in breakers or Excellent. throwing to shoreline structure. You never know what you're going to get what's laying up in there. The versatility of the three or four inch paddle tail is, is pretty much on Yeah. You really can't do anything. Yeah. So until the big fish show up, mm -hmm. until the rocktober bite turns on and the mm -hmm. big ones show up where the base pretty much in transition so you want to change up your tactics a little bit change your focus and and go catch some fish that you don't normally catch all year long yeah. since they're still here well before we leave you we forgot one thing you What's know that? what i'm doing with these i'm pickerel fishing out yes <laughs> it's that time of the year it's starting to get that weather the fish are being caught in magthi the severn uh it's really starting to heat up so there's there's a million things whether you're going to yeah. be south with him or up here with us right there's, there's everything you can do it's yeah like the rivers and hard bottoms absolutely you know sharps island flats you know around poplar all of those hard bottomed areas Holland Point, uh -huh. you know, things like that. All really good fishing right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we thank you guys. We thank LJ. Yeah. Thank and you. Have a great one out there, guys. And good Thanks luck. for watching.